Hello, this is Selfie D Dark Van Raven here. I'm going to bring you another WWE Predictions video, and it's it's really hot here in the UK, and there's some twat letting off fireworks like outside. And I'm assuming it's it's for the Queen's Jubilee, I'd assume, but no one cares about that. Well, sure people do, but I don't, so let's not talk about that. Anyway, SmackDown's on, so um, well, no, it's not actually a predictions video. It's an opinion video. If I didn't already say that. So this will be an opinion video on the WWE 13 video game which is coming out in November trailer. The trailer came out I think back in April, I'm not really too sure when it officially came out but you know it, I think it was April and now it's just thing. So uh, the trailer doesn't show much, there's a bit of gameplay and a huge thing rolled around CM Punk. So let's talk about what was in the trailer first. Well it starts off with CM Punk talking about joining the revolution, shows a picture of a crowd, his fans, um, him him do training sessions, him like, you know, um, kind of ripping up his wrists and shit, you know, and saying a few quotes of him in the straight edge and stuff there as well, so yeah. Uh, after that, then it goes on to seeing some game footage, you get CC and Punk wearing the best in the world t-shirt, tattoos on his arm which look much better, and obviously he's got the WWE Championship around his waist. Whether he is the WWE Champion on the game, I don't know, I assume he probably will because he had tough for a very, very long time. So uh, let's cut to a picture of a GTS on a th on uh, Chris Jericho. It's, then it showed the uh, Ministry Undertaker choke slam in Mankind, which has been held in the cell. So that's obviously they obviously cleared for the game. Uh, Stone Cold is kind of spear attacking Mankind into guardrails. They were obviously on the so Stone Cold and Mankind are obviously on the game as well. Then it shows uh, some Jericho backflipping Sheamus through a table and then Punk diving elbow dropping. Um, uh, uh, Chris Jericho for a table. Sorry, it's really hot. If I sound like I'm going on, it's just it's just really boiling here. Uh, and the trailer ends with basically Mark Henry and Big Show breaking the ring. So, what do I think about this trailer? Well, just give me a minute. I'm a kitty cat. Uh, personally, I thought the trailer was a little bit shit and it was a little bit disappointing. And you'll probably look at me and thinking, really? Really? Yes, really. I really thought the trailer was a disappointment. And because it didn't show anything new that WWE had done before, it showed a few high risk moves, a few new scenes, and that was it. It didn't show bang, you know, it didn't make me, it didn't jump out right on the page to me. It didn't think to say, now there's a game I'm going to go buy because, you know, because. Quite frankly, I don't know if I'm gonna go. Well, yeah, I will buy it. But I mean, like the trailer didn't sell it in the fact of this is you. This is the reason why you should buy this game. The punk promos of him saying join the revolution. The whole CM Punk stuff was fantastic. But I just think you know they showed the wrong gameplay and stuff. And I don't know. I mean, breaking the ring, I suppose, is cool. But it'll probably only be a cut scene in in universe mode. Or it'll probably be one of the create um create a storyline in um create a pay per view. Create stories. You know when you create. You create uh, Raw and Smackdown and you choose the cutscenes yourself, so it would be one of those. It's the same with maybe the barrier of Stone Cold and Mankind as well in there as well, so that would be a thing. The table thing is probably just meh anyway. So so there wasn't really that much shown that really excited me. I mean, they finished it with the ring break, but to be fair, I don't think you'd be able to do that much anyway, unless every time you're, Ma every time you're Big Show and Mark Henry, you do a um, suplex on the uh, thing, the ring breaks automatically, which I doubt it, so... Um, so yeah, so I thought the trailer was rather disappointing, other than the CM Punk stuff. I thought THQ could have done a lot better than this, you know, they could have, um, I'm actually getting a ton of posts on Facebook right about now. They could have done a lot better than this, you know, they, they really could have, showing a few new scenes which probably you won't even get to use anyway. Uh, I can't imagine the road to WrestleMania will be about Big Show or Mark Kennedy, so that's the ring bite won't come from that. You know, CM Punk looks so much better in this, the tattoos look better, finally it has the best in the world shirt. Uh, the WWE title looks the same as it did in WWE 12, so there's no really difference on that. Um, so, I don't know, yeah, but from the trailer, there is obviously there'll be more information about WWE 12, uh, WWE 13, sorry, I think I said WWE 12 twice. WWE 13 um, released soon, uh, probably the roster, which will probably do a video on, or some of the modes as well. As I've read a lot, there's a lot of few different modes on there. I think there's live 24 7 mode and universe mode 0.20, so yeah, so reading about it's good, but it, the trailer didn't live up to the hype, in my opinion. I just didn't think it lived up. I just, I don't know, I, I just didn't like it. In my opinion, in my opinion I didn't like it. Um, 
I'm sorry if that, you know, if, if you don't agree with me, but that's just my opinion. I just didn't like it. So, so that's my thoughts on the WB13 trailer. Here, this is where you go. You look down and you see the little toolbar and you click your little keyboard. That's where you leave your comments. You see this? This is a like. If you liked it, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe as well. It is free, you know, part of YouTube. So please subscribe for more opinion videos on WWE. I do have a lot of other videos as well. So yeah, that was my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on the WWE 13 trailer. You can break it down if you want, or you can give me one simple word to say that it's shit, good, fantastic. What do you think? Because me personally, I feel like it didn't show me very thing new. It didn't wow me. It didn't show me what WWE haven't done already. You know, I did a few new cutscenes, but once again, this is my opinion. Thank you for watching.